here we are at Harrismith, which is about 60 kilometres east of Narragin. Last year, GRDC contracted us to do some research into finding out what the best nutrient package is following renovation on these gravel reefing soil types. Previously, these paddocks have not performed very well, or these sites have not performed very well. They've been really hard to work. And so following this renovation process, which is quite expensive, we really want to know how quickly can we get our return on investment and how can we maximise our return on investment following this, this expensive renovation process. In order to do that, we wanted to define what does a gravel renovated soil type look like? What can we typically expect following from that process? And we thought the best way to do that was to go and soil test 15 different sites. From those sites, we'll then select five sites to hold a trial, of which this, this was one of them. And so what we did was we, we soil tested from the zero to 10 and then 10 to 30 of those 15 sites. Um, and from there, we ran a lot of those tests through a, a nutrient uh, recommendation program to, to find out what's going to be the optimum rate of P to apply. From the optimum rate, we then halved it and then we then doubled, doubled it to try and ground test whether, whether those soil tests are giving us an, an accurate response. So as, as I mentioned, there's 15 sites of which this one was one of the five trial sites that we came up with. You can see from here that this is actually, this is the sort of stuff that we're bringing up and is really quite gravelly and, and was, wouldn't have grown a lot of crop in previous. From those sites, four of them were sown to septa wheat after the break in May, and one of them was actually sown early to Bonito Canola in April. So from those, after, after sowing, we took establishment counts over, over all those because the establishment on these paddocks can be quite variable. We then took some tissue tests during the season to find out whether uh, that any of the plants were lacking anything from our, our treatments. We took biomass cuts at the, end of, at the end of November, around harvest time as well as obviously the yield and, and quality data at harvest time. So if you tune into the second video, you'll see what some of the results are. I think they might surprise you.